Welcome everybody to Conscious Cafe uh, Global uh, this evening in the UK, although we have people in, in various locations. My name is, is Gina Lazenby and just want to introduce um, our speaker on Conscious Cafe. Uh, Conscious Cafe is an organisation which I think I was reminded tonight uh, is 10 years old. Um, we are a, a place to gather as community for conscious conversations. We've been doing that for 10 years. The last year has been mainly online, well, largely exclusively online. We have a number of groups and chapters uh, around the UK. Uh, Judy Piakas, who's the founder of Co Conscious Cafe, is on the call with us tonight. She started the London group, and I believe that's where Dina and Judy first connected. And we have groups in Switzerland and Singapore. So we're, um, we're all we're moving around the world. We will record tonight and previous events that we've had with uh, other speakers are all on ConsciousCafe.org uh, on our events page and all the recordings are there. Uh, tonight um, is a, a, a really special night. Um, uh, Dean has asked this question about um, moving forward in life and that's what she's going to talk about. And I love what she said about next steps, what you know but you haven't told yourself. I thought that was really intriguing. So that is going to be a fascinating conversation tonight. And then my introduction of Dr. Dina Gluberman. Um, Dina is a psychotherapist, writer, international trainer, and world expert in imagery-based therapies. And I first connected uh, with Dina through Skiros. And I see Skiros started, uh, you're a co-founder of that way back in 1979. And when I went to uh, Skiros and Atsitsa for my holistic holiday, uh, you know, you were certainly a pioneer and it was life changing for me. And it's wonderful to know that uh, such a fantastic community um, uh, organization is still around. Uh, more recently, you founded, uh, Dina founded and directs the Aurora Center in Southern Italy, uh, training therapists, counselors, and consultants in her image work approach. She's a course leader on the faculty of the MA in psychotherapy of the Tivoli Institute in Dublin, and a member of the board of directors of the Association of Humanistic Psychology uh, in the UK. Um, I've got your book, uh, Life Choices, Life Changes, um, pivotal in my own life and that's from 1989 somebody else on the call was uh, talking about having read that the joy of burnout is another one of dina's books 2002 you are what you imagine into the woods and out again and there's a forthcoming book the image handbook a training book in image work for practitioners and so i think you will have gathered that um this powerful technique dina is a world expert in this now dina i'm going to hand over to you we're thank gonna, you everybody's muted but we're going to give you a wave of appreciation and applause. Thank you. Actually, I'm just going to show you the books because we've just talked about them. So very briefly, this was my first book, but not my first cover. And that's like a textbook and imagery. And this joy of burnout is, a, is about seeing burnout as a positive step on your soul path rather than as something negative and destructive. And this is how you can take 10 steps to a new beginning using imagery. And this is my memoir uh, of about 17 years of my life, which were pretty um, uh, significant. I started off going crazy, going into a mental hospital briefly, then becoming normal. That was worse. And then, um, <laughs> and then starting Skiros and so on. So, um, anyway, um, I, want to, I want to talk to you about um, imagery a bit, and then I'm going to take you through this imagery exercise. Now, I think a lot of you have never worked with me, so this will be new to you. Let's see how it goes. You know, we're going we're gonna to try this and see how it goes. So, let me just say a little bit about imagery that um, imagery is sort of, it, it, our, the imagery that we carry is like a template for who we are, mind, body, emotion, and spirit. And when we let an image emerge of where we are right now, it's, 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 a, it's an expression of one aspect of um, who we are at this moment, only one aspect of it. 
And but the, but I believe that that's the bit that's asking for transformation. That's why it's coming up now, even if it feels, even if you, it, it it looks like it's 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 um it's a difficult um, image or whatever. It is asking for transformation. So this is an opportunity to transform. So imaging is a child's first language, and then the education system doesn't support that. It supports words and numbers, because imaging is a way into ourselves, and um, and that's an into another dimension, which is what I love about it. Um, and and um, as Gina said, and this is, was a quote of one of my students many years ago. It's what we know but haven't told ourselves. Because it's it, it's on a deep level, it's it's um, it, when we see it, when we discover it, we just say, "Oh yeah, of course," but it's also a surprise because we haven't told ourselves. Um, I'll just say a few things about the rules of working with imagery, um, which are first of all, you don't have to see it. A lot of people think that it has to be visual. And um, I often give an example of um, a peach. And, uh, you know, c c can you see it as if it's here in the room with you? Maybe not. Most people here can. A few people can't. I can't. I'm not visual. And then can you taste it? Can you smell it? Can you, you know, and so on. And an image, it, it, it can be seen, heard, um, smelled, sensed. Uh, if I say, let an image emerge, and you have a, a sort of a sense of what it is, that's good enough, even if you can't really fully see it. Um, I, 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 I can't see all of you, but I'm just curious, how many of you are afraid you won't get an image? Just a sh show of hands. I'm not seeing anybody raise their hands in this lot, but there may be others. <laughs> Are there any other people raising their hands, Gina? Yes, I, if you're looking at the screen as a uh, gallery, if you do on page two, you will see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, so um, um, what I want to say is the thing that we need for imaging, first of all, is, is surrender, is patience. We wait and see what comes up. We don't say, oh my God, nothing's going to happen. I'm going to make something up. We wait and see. And I will take you through a few possibilities. In case you haven't had an image, I'll give you another option and then I'll give you another option. So um, it, 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 it's something that you can just relax and trust. It's not for you to work at. Um, Here's an important point. If you don't like an image that comes up, don't throw it away. <laughs> and no matter how many times I say that, about five of you will throw it away because you'll think, oh, I don't like this one. It's nothing to do with me. Goodbye. The first image that you get is very powerful. Anything after that is, is not. And, and however negative it seems, there's always a happy ending <laughs> if we wait long enough. Um, if more than one image comes up, which happens, just choose either the first or, 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 um, or the most powerful. And if I ask a question to you, so I'm going to say, I'd like you to allow an image to emerge of an animal, a plant, or an object. Now, I'm afraid to say this because you'll get an image straight away. Um, and when an image comes up, I'm going to ask you about yourself as an image. So I might say, how long has it been this way for you? Now, if your image is of a bird, and then you say to yourself, since my divorce, that doesn't work. You've got to be entered into the image and feel yourself to be that image being. I call them image beings to understand they have a life of their own. Um, so, and when I say step into the image, um, I advise you to actually stand up and step into the image, breathe into the image, 
the more that you take a position and feel your body becoming the body of the image, the more profound it'll be. And um, and I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be taking you through an image, and then you're going to go into your breakout groups, and you'll be talking as this image being and listening to each other. And one of the most important things I I I I, I try to teach people about uh, using imagery is speak in a language a five year old would understand. The minute you use big words. You go out of your um, of that world of the child in a way, which is the world of the imagination, and go into your head, and you lose it. So um, keep your language simple. Talk in the present tense, um, and see what happens. Um, and I'm not going to say any more because those of you who have never done this don't know what I'm talking about, probably. So, <laughs> so. Should we get going? Can I have some nods or something? <laughs> Can I have some audience feedback? Yeah, okay, thank you. <laughs> um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with a relaxation. And, um, and then I'm going to ask you to allow this image to emerge. Allow an image to emerge, remember means step aside and let it happen. Do not make it happen. And how you know that this is a real image rather than something you made up is that there's usually a feeling of um, surprise as well as a sort of a deep familiarity with it, a deep knowledge of it. If it's something comes up that you've used many times before, then maybe you can let it go and let something new come up. If it, it comes up as your cat or your dog, probably you could let it go. But if you don't want to let it go, it's not your cat or your dog. It just looks like your cat. You have to be free to explore. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take you through a story. We're going to take you through the story of this image. You're going to get an image. It could be a bird. It could be a stone. It could be a tree. It could be whatever comes up. But it's an animal, a plant, or an object. It could be a tiger in a cage. Uh, it, it's whatever comes up. Um, you know, we'll explore it. We'll explore what's happening in the present moment. Then we'll find out the history of this image being. How did I get to this place that I'm in now? And then we start looking for what's our next step. And in order to find our next step. We check out other perspectives. So, for example, I might ask you to become a light from above and whisper something to the image being to help it on its way. And then the image being will give you a message as well. But the whole thing is your message. The important thing is while you're doing this imaging, don't worry about what it means because you're not used to doing both at the same time. So, you might lose your connection with the image. Afterwards, you'll be able to figure out what it's all about. But while you're doing it, just surrender to the experience of being something that you haven't been in this human lifetime, um, which could be an animal, a plant, or an object. Okay. Does anybody have any questions? Gina, can you see if anybody has questions if they need to unmute? Myself, nobody's asking a question, and uh, Judy will also look at the questions as well in case I'm asking. okay. Nobody's asking. Um, okay. Uh, um, we're not talking about breakouts. We're just talking about our session now, aren't we? Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. I, I was just asking if anybody has any questions. Okay, should we go for it? Let's go. Okay. So um, I'm going to ask you to just. <sighs> Give a nice sigh. <sighs> it may have been an effort to get yourself here. <sighs> you may be wondering what's going to happen to you. <sighs> so just relax. Deeply relax. 
completely relaxed. And another sigh. And just focus on your body and um, my body relax, deeply relax, completely relax. Now focus on your mind, that bit of your mind that goes yabba, yabba, yabba all the time in your forehead, just focus on your mind and then <sighs> relax, deeply relax, completely relax. And then focus on your emotions, that sort of washing machine up and down and around and through. <sighs> relax, deeply relax, completely relax. And then focus on your um, energy body, like the energy that keeps you going in life. Relax, deeply relax, completely relax. And then you might say to yourself, my soul, awake. Deeply awake, completely awake. My spirit awake, deeply awake, completely awake. And I want you to imagine that there's a big light above your head. And this light has the power to soften, soothe, heal, and absorb what doesn't serve you. And imagine that light is touching the top of your head. Ah, and another sigh. Ah, the light has come to completely relax me. And then pull it down through your head, through that brain, clearing all the words, your eyes, your nose, your lips, your tongue, your throat, deeply relax. And bringing that light down through your shoulders, feel it touch the top of your shoulders that carry the weight of the world and then just huh, relax. And then bring them down through your torso, your chest, your belly, your back, your bum, your legs, absorbing whatever doesn't serve you, softening, healing, relaxing, bringing light. And then this light sinks down through the soles of your feet and rolls down into the ground and into the center of the earth where Mother Earth uses all that this has absorbed as food. And Mother, and Mother Earth then sends up a lightness from, your, from the uh, center of the earth through your feet, to your legs, your torso, your neck, and your head. And let your mind or spirit or consciousness be light. And let's imagine that it's so light that it rises up as if through a hole in the top of your head and floats off like a cloud in a summer afternoon. And now I'd like you to allow to emerge, and that means if you remember, step aside and let it happen. Allow to emerge an image of an animal, a plant, or an object that somehow represents who you are or what you need to know at this moment in your life. An animal, a plant, or an object. A plant, an animal, or an object that somehow represents who you are or what you need to know at this moment in your life. 
first that comes to mind and heart. And if you have got an image, would you raise your hand so I can just see? And anything that you kind of know what it is. It doesn't have to be visual. Okay. Um, if you don't have an image, check that you haven't thrown anything away. <laughs> Which uh, I've never found a group that nobody has. And... Um, uh, so can I suggest those of you that have an image, start to move around it and explore it. Just move around it, get underneath it, get, get another sense of it. And if you haven't yet got an image, I'd like you to imagine that your unconscious is like a sea. And out of the sea up floats an image of an animal, a plant or an object that somehow represents who you are or what you need to know at this moment in your life. And just let that float up and let that be your image. Okay, and if any of you still do not have an image, can I just suggest that you look back over the last 24 or 48 hours and notice something that was an animal, plant, or an object that caught your attention or that catches your attention now and let that be your image. It almost doesn't matter where we start sometimes because it develops as it's meant to develop. Okay, um, I'll tell you what, we could unmute just like two or three people. Does anybody want to say, I am a something? If you, if you do, just raise your hand and, and, and you can unmute. Yeah, Jodie? I'm, yeah? I'm an oak tree. I'm an oak tree and I'm... Uh, just add something. I'm an oak tree and I'm, I'm, str I'm strong. And I'm strong. Okay. Uh, anyone else? Yeah. You just. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, Georgian, just speak. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm a kite. I'm a kite and I'm. Floating, my dear. In the mm -hmm. wind. In the wind. Okay. And one more person. I am an oak tree as well. You are a what? Oak tree as well. As well. You know, this is what happens. I want to say this is what happens in groups. The other behind the fence, yeah. It's very interesting to see no, it happen. No, it's, it, it's very interesting to see it happen in a Zoom group. Because often people sitting next to each other get the same image. And um, often people have very strange images and somebody else has the same one because we are connected to each other more than we know. But I've never seen it in the Zoom group, but so that's interesting, yeah. Okay, so close your eyes again and, and, and mute yourself if you've spoken. And now what I'd like you to do, I'd just like to check for a second, Gina, is there anybody in trouble who needs help? Wave your hand or put up a flag if you have a query or in trouble. Nobody on the... Nope, everybody. Nobody's in trouble. Fantastic. Okay. So now what I'd like you to do is take an aerial view of this image being. That means imagine that you're floating up above the image being and looking down upon the image being and the whole environment as far as you can see whole environment as far as you can see so if you're an oak tree or you want to see maybe if it's in a forest the whole forest and the sky and you know whatever's in that environment because that's important as well okay and now I want you to Come back, and then I want you to 
step into being this image being. And if you remember, I said, if you can actually stand up and step into being the image being and breathe into being the image being. If that's a problem, then you can imagine stepping into it. Because what we're going to do is we're going to become this image being physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. So stepping into the image, breathe into being this image being. I am this image being. How does it feel physically to be this image being physically? You have a body that's very different from a human one. How does it feel to be this image being? How does it feel mentally to be this image being? Even if you're a stone, do it anyway. If I had a mind, what would it be like? How does it feel emotionally? Emotionally. And how does it feel spiritually? What is the essence of being me as this image being? What's, what's the quality that I have? What's the kiteness of the kite, the oak tree-ness of the oak tree? What is my nature, my essence as this image being? If I'm going too fast, does someone give a shout, wave your hands? Slow down. And I want to ask you a few more questions. Again, remember, I'm asking the image being, not the person, not you, who you were before. Right now, you are this image being. What do you love? And what do you fear? What do you love and what do you fear? What's important to you right now and what's not important? Are you alone or are there others around you? Are there others like you? How do you feel about being alone or not being alone? And now I want to ask you about your relationship to your environment. That's all, all that you could see from above. How do you feel about your environment? What is your relationship to your environment? Is it challenging? Is it comfortable? Are you a stranger or is it home? Are your needs being met? Or are you being deprived of something you need? Are you happy in this environment? Would you rather be somewhere else? Is it safe? Is it dangerous? If you haven't noticed the environment, kind of you've been too involved in just like being you, then notice it now. How do I fit with this environment? How do I fit in this world I'm in?
And now I'm going to ask you a question about your history. That is your history as the image being. So I want you to, um, I'm, I'm going to ask you this question. How long has it been this way for you? How long have you been in this situation looking and feeling like this? And you could allow a number to come up, like five months or five centuries or whatever, or it could be forever, but if a number comes up, let it come up, five days, five years, five centuries. How long has it been this way for you? Was there a time when things were different or you were different? Can you remember that time? How did it change? What happened? Was it better before or was it better now? So this is your history as this image being, your past. So now the question is going to be what's next? What's next for me as this image being? What's next? But before we decide I want you to get some help from other perspectives because when we're inside ourselves, we don't always see the whole picture. So I want you to look around your environment and find something that's different from you. You know, so if you're a, a bird, you might find um, a telephone pole or, or whatever. Find something that interests you or that is different from you. And when you've got that, just raise a finger so I can see that you've got something. Okay? And now what I want you to do is to step into being that image being. Looking at the original one who I'm going to call self now. Well, I, 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 we'll call it the self-image being, which is our first one. So step into being this other image being, looking at self. Okay? And I'm first going to ask you about yourself. What is your essence as this image being? What, what quality, what is your quality? And it's probably very different from the quality of the self-image being. And I want you now to look at the self-image being. And I want to ask you, what can you see about the image being that it doesn't know about itself? What can you see about the image being that it doesn't know about itself. Can you whisper something to the image being to help it on its way? Can you whisper something to the image being to help it on its way? Now you're all muted so you can feel free to whisper. It's good to whisper out loud if you can. And then come back to being the self-image being and receive that message. Receive that message. Take it in. Get it. And now I'm going to ask you to do one more thing. I want you to imagine your consciousness rises above 
and you become a light shining above, looking down on this image beam. As the light, feel yourself to be light now. This is really important to experience yourself as light. What is your essence as light? Feel yourself expanding. If you're becoming light, I should see your body changing. It will become a little bit more expansive. So just let yourself be light. It's a, a kind of a wonderful thing to be, being light. And I want you now to look down at the image being. What can you see about the image being that it doesn't know about itself? And what can you whisper to the image being that would help it on its way? And if you can, whisper it out loud. And if English isn't your first language, use your first language. And now I want you to come back into being the image being and receive that message. And ah, I want to see you breathe into being this image being. You are the image being now. Breathe into being the image being. Did you hear what those messages were? Did they help you to understand what your next step is? Next step doesn't mean you're going to do anything. It might be that you accept how things are. The next step is your next attitude or action or understanding, whatever it is. So I'm now going to ask you, what is your next step? What is the movement in the direction of wholeness? What is your next step? And whatever it is, do it and enjoy it. I want you to imagine taking that step and enjoy it. because it's what you wanted. Sometimes we want something and when we get it, we forget to enjoy it. Enjoy this because it's what you wanted. And now I'm going to ask you this. If I could wave a magic wand over your life as this image being, and if anybody hears first language is in English, sometimes people don't know a magic wand is one of the sticks that the fairy godmother uses to make a wish. So if I waved my magic wand over your life, what would be the perfect life? What's the picture that comes up as the perfect life for you? And whatever it is, do it, experience it, and enjoy it. Okay, and now I would like you to kind of turn around and look back at yourself, the person that you used to be. And as the image being, what can you see about this person that they don't know about themselves? And what could you whisper to the person that would help them on their way? Okay. And now I want you to step into being your person again. 
and receive that message. And for a moment, I want you to reflect on what's happened, on that story that just unfolded. If this were a map of my life in one aspect, what, what does it mean? What is one thing I'm realizing? What is one thing I could do differently? Just, just noticing how this reflects something about your life. Not everything, just something that is asking for transformation. You could say to yourself, where in my life do I feel like that? Okay, and before I count you up, maybe a few people want to say something about, not about what happened, but about who you are. I am a something, and I'm something. You know, just, just see what comes up. Just a little bit of sharing. Anybody up to do that? June, go ahead. I'm a red rose and I'm beautiful. I'm a red rose and I'm beautiful and let's add something. And I'm fearful that I will fade and die. Oh, wow. Okay, thank you. Others? Cheryl? I am um, a sponge and I am absorbing. You're absorbing. What are you absorbing? I'm absorbing um, a great deal of learning from a group that I'm in. No, the sponge is not doing that. So, we have to speak as the sponge. It's a very good example. I'm glad you gave me this example. Your sponge is not in a group learning. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> oh, my sponge is in a pool of, and, and the image was my sponge is in a pool of water and it's absorbing the water. And, okay, and I'm absorbing the water. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how does it feel to absorb the water? It feels okay, but if I absorb too much, I start to sink to the bottom of the pool. Oh, that's a great story. Thank you. Okay, anyone else? There is something around. Nobody so far. Anybody else want to say? Yeah, there's a few hands here. Yeah. Somebody called. Okay. Simpson F. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know your name, you're unmuted. Fiona. Fiona, okay. Um, so I got an eagle. No, See? no, okay. So instead of that, let's just say I'm an eagle. I'm and an eagle. I'm, yeah. And I'm seeing the big picture. I'm spreading my wings mm -hmm. and needing some freedom. Mm -hmm. And needing some freedom. So you don't have the freedom yet. No. No, okay. And what's stopping you from being free? Too many commitments. No, 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 no. <laughs> You're an ego. What's stopping you as an ego? This is really important. This was good to demonstrate this. It's really important because once we go into ourselves as a person, we don't learn much new. We have to stay with the image being. That's where the treasure is. What's stopping you, ego, from being free? Is it my wings are clipped? Your wings are clipped. Okay, thank you. That's a little different, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. And that will tell you something. Okay. Someone else want to say? Louise had a hand up. Do you want to share, Louise? Thanks, Gina. Um, I'm also an eagle. A female okay. eagle. Isn't that funny? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and I, a very strong image of like real power and the ability to be able to like take off. Okay. And... Now, now, don't forget, we're going to, I'm training you as we go along. So don't forget words a five year old would understand. I don't like that word ability. Let's okay. speak okay. very simply. I feel powerful. 
mm-hmm. able to look after myself mm-hmm. to and what's hold been holding me back very I feel that all my life I was trained from a chick to uh, to hunt for um, my keeper who held me who holds me on their arm and tethers me and I have a hood over my eyes but they take the hood off and let me go so that I can hunt for prey ah. for them but instead I'm choosing to fly and hunt and look after myself wow that's a big choice isn't it that's great thank you and um say one more person tell us yeah only putting a hand up i still mute if i can share okay somebody else is sharing i can't it's debbie it's debbie debbie okay go for it debbie Okay, I am the full moon and I am complete and fulfilled as I am a full moon. I felt very alone in the dark of looking down on the bright earth with but very with so much benevolence. And my other image, the cloud, told me that I'm not alone up there, that billions of people on the earth look up at the full moon in awe and not awe, just beauty. And then I discovered, looking down at myself, that I am actually connected to the whole universe and many other universes, and actually we're all one. Wow. (laughs) That must feel good. Well, it was an image I rejected, uh, and I hung on. It kept coming back because I wasn't what I was expecting. (laughs) <laughs> and so it led to very interesting places. Yeah, so you're yeah. a good example in this training is someone who wants to throw away their image because they don't like it. Yes. Yeah. I did not like it. I just thought I got it for the wrong reason. Oh, okay. Because I was thinking of the moon yesterday and I thought, no, no, I, that's that's in my mind because I was looking at the full moon recently. Yeah. But then yeah, I yeah. kept there and it led to very interesting discussions. Yeah, and you were looking at a lot of other things over the last couple of days too. So, but that's what came to you. Okay. Anybody else want to really say something now? Yes, no? Oh, can, can I share then very briefly? I've got an animal I don't really recognize. There's no name for this animal, but I've got a feeling about the qualities Okay, so I am this animal, I don't know my name. Right, I am this animal and I don't know my name. Uh Uh-huh. I am very peaceful, I've got a very big, powerful chest. Uh Uh-huh. And um, I'm at ease. I've got four feet and I'm on the ground and I eat grass, which is very tasty, but I also eat rubbish stuff but it's okay my system can handle it (laughs) and how long have you not had a name have you ever had a name and forgot it oh excellent question um i feel i have got a name but i oh lovely it's just out of reach it's it's just out of reach ancient name it's an ancient name Yeah. yeah and you probably have been looking for a modern name, so you didn't recognize your name. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so maybe that would be nice to find out your name. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> okay, so um, everybody close your eyes again, and I'm going to count up from one to five, and I suggest when I say five, you open your eyes, relaxed and alert, bringing back all that you've experienced back with you. So that's one, two, coming to the surface, three, four, five. Eyes open, stamp your feet a bit, come back to this room. 
Okay, now just breathing and relaxing and just for a moment, is there anybody that wants to say something at this moment before we break up into breakout groups? I, I also had an image that I rejected. Oh, <laughs> uh, you see, I told you I'd never find a group with, with, where nobody rejects an image. Yeah. Now, where are you? Uh, I'm just looking for you. Is Shoku speaking? Shoku, yes. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. Shoku, yeah. And uh, it really did, the images that were coming up, I, I was an owl sitting on a tree, looking down and I saw a car. And it really surprised me that each time you asked a question, the answers I was getting were so relevant to where I am. Yeah, it was a surprise. To be, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So is that the one you threw away? The one... I, an owl, but I kept going into like a sparrow or a robin, but then I went back to the owl. Why did I, you want to throw away the owl? I don't know. I thought it looked. I just, I just kept thinking it mm, looked heavy, like a heavy, you know, a heavy bird. But then, then I, then, then I, it, you know, started hearing that it, I'm a wise owl, but but I also need to open my eyes and spread my wings and fly rather than just sit on a branch. And the car is oh, something lovely. that moves forward and I need to move forward rather and than sit still. Oh, wow. Okay, so a lot's come out of this. So here's the reminder, <clears throat> the very important word, surrender. When the image comes, you don't say, oh, it's too tall, it's too short, it's too fat, it's too thin, it's too heavy. It's not really me. You say, welcome. Thank you for coming into my life. Show me what you need to show me. Okay? And I bet this is something you do in other areas of life. Because <laughs> that is what we do. We say, no, it's not quite right. Yes, it is. Okay. So th thank you for sharing that. You know, so, um, do you know, are we going to break out now? Yeah, we're going to break out. And so what I'd like to do is, to, is to look at the PowerPoints and then I can explain. Okay. I need to do a screen share. Okay. Uh, screen. Um, screen. I can't remember how to screen share screen. Okay. <laughs> Got Good it. Security. <laughs> Play. okay so you're going to get into small groups i don't know the size what size are they going to be gina gina we have 45 people so 44 divided by 11 is four in each if that works yeah that's fine yeah four in yeah. each okay yeah does 45 in include me and you and Four to five, including everybody. Oh, okay. Um, so I can step out or you can step out, whatever you want to do. Okay. So um, so it's, it's, it's in two rounds. In, in other words, each person will talk briefly. And then, um, and the nice thing is before they move on, send them love. And then the next person talks. So you don't have to say anything, you're just listening. If we had more time, there'd be a lot you could say, but, but we're just listening. So the first thing is, if I'm in the group, I say my name, my name is Dina, and, and I, was a, I was an owl or something, and then I'm gonna say, I am this owl. This is what it's like to be me. This is what it's like to be me. So I talk in the present tense. I don't tell the story of what happened. I really tune in to being the owl at this moment. I've got these beautiful wings, but they're a bit torn right now. I've been through some kind of a, 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 a scratchy place and, um, you know, whatever. And I, and if the person gets stuck, which I probably won't for two minutes, you can help them by just asking them a question like, what color are you or are you on your own or whatever. 
but keep questions to a minimum really I am this and this is what it's like to be me so it's a bit like you're unfolding yourself letting your group know what you are like what do you love and remember words a five-year-old would understand simple words so so you go around and you do that once and the second round could we see round two Gina this is taking a minute to say if this is a map of one aspect of my life what is one thing I've learned or might do differently okay and we started doing this already in the big group okay so it shouldn't be so difficult if this is a map of one aspect of my life what is one thing I've learned or might do differently okay so um, and if we if you have any time somebody should time people if that's possible time each other otherwise the first person talks for a minute the second talks for two the third talks for three and so on so um, it's quite good to time people and after that it, and I think what time do we have now can we, it's, can we put people in groups of three yeah why not we'll put people go to three and if um if anybody has a problem like you're in a group where people don't show up because maybe some people don't show up in the group then flag up and i'll move you around so you know hopefully everybody will take part but if that's the case then flag up otherwise you're just two in a room so i'm going to put everybody into three into 43 or 42 is 14 14 groups of three that's right okay um and then i'll give everybody a one minute warning so how many minutes of the three okay that's what i'm trying to work out so it's it's about eight o'clock your minutes. time um say 15 can, can we say 15 minutes 15 minutes but um, but, but it, we'll say 14 minutes so that we can come back yeah. <laughs> in that lesson okay so I want to open this now to anyone that wants to um, Where's Dina gone? Where have I gone? I'm here. In the middle. I'm looking at my screen for you. Okay. Uh, we're, we're all, we, uh, our screens all look different, don't they? So where I am on my screen I'm is that. spotlighting oh, you. Oh, you're spotlighting me. Yeah. Okay. So what i i wonder is um does anybody want some help with this want to work with it a bit it's your big chance anyone who feels either a little stuck or like there's more to this that would really help me um can i can i say i was in a group with carla and mm -hmm. we only got a minute with carla because the, the two of us in the group spent longer so i don't mm -hmm. know whether carla would like Mm -hmm. hers explored further because she didn't really get the opportunity i don't think we're going to volunteer someone else no <laughs> just saying if she wants <laughs> i know no, you're I so kind, Fiona. thank you <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah joan has a hand up joan has a hand up i'm going to unmute joan okay now where's joan Page can you can, can you spotlight us both I, I can. I, I'm, I spot, I'd spotlight to you. They, there's you and Joan. Oh, there's two okay. Now. Sorry, there's two Joans, but I've got. Have we got the right Joan? Mm -hmm. Joan, you had yeah. She had a hand up. I don't know where the other Joan is. Okay, so Joan, um, first of all, just tell me what who you are as an image being and what's happening. I'm a beautiful, fragrant red rose. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm. And I'm surrounded by other beautiful fragrant red roses on this beautiful rose bush in a delightful garden. It's full of lavender and it's sheer abundance. When I saw myself from above, it's just beautiful and full of all kinds of fruits and flowers. Um, I suppose what I had the difficulty with was that the, the, the focus is on the fleetingness of it all and the fading to death. Maybe 
When you say the focus, was that you as Joan or did the rose feel that? I suppose it was me as Joan. Yes. So I think that's the problem. You're imposing your point of view, your worry on the rose. Okay, so could you become the rose, this beautiful rose? And just tell us about yourself. Just the depth of being you. What's, what's, the, what's at the deepest point? part of you that i provide nourishment okay th those are all big words remember five-year-old words okay i feed the bees okay and the insects the okay sometimes and even if i'm cut down and put in water then i'm providing i provide pleasure for human beings Okay, can we keep the words simple? Five-year-old words. I make, I make people happy. You make people happy. So even if you cut, cut off your um, life roots, you're happy because you make people happy. And it sounds like that's really important to you, what you give to others. And that it's almost like your beauty is not just for you, but it's for the pleasure of others. So that's lovely. And if I waved a magic wand over your life as this rose, how would it be? It would be healthy and perfect. But you are healthy and perfect already. suppose it's Joan knowing that she's not. Yeah, that's Joan. Okay. Yeah. So I think this is really important for you to notice that, that when you go into your worries, you lose the truth of this moment. So let me ask you again, become the rose. Let yourself be the rose. Okay? Rose, if I could wave a magic wand over your life as this Rose, how would it be? I wouldn't change anything. You wouldn't change anything. No, it's perfect. Well, you got your answer. How does that feel? Thank you. And just one more moment. Rose, if you could look at Joan right now, what would you say to her? That. Everything has a time and place. Uh-huh. So tell her, if you could whisper something to help her, what would it be? What can you see that she doesn't know? That all would be well. She doesn't know that, but you know that. Great. And does she get that? Yeah. Become Joan. Become Joan again now. Yeah. And get the message. Yeah, that's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So um, we could have another volunteer if somebody else wants to. Oh, does anybody want to send any wishes to the Rose? I wish you... Like I wish you, your fragrance spreads around the world, or whatever you want to wish for the, for the rose. It's a lovely thing to wish something for them. I wish the rose spreads out its seeds. Okay. Well, I, wish you, I, I wish you know your own strength and beauty. Uh-huh. I wish that Rose realizes how beautiful she is uh -huh. for us all. Uh -huh. And how fragrant. I feel also very grateful to you, Rose, that you really care about giving to all of us. 
and I think that's a lovely feeling to have a rose that wants to give what it can. So thank you. Okay, does anybody else want to have a go? Looking at page one, I'm going to flick to page two now. <laughs> Not that you know where you are, but I haven't seen anybody put their hand up yet. Um, Dante's, uh, Gina, Dante's put his hand up before. Okay, he hasn't put it up again, so I'm going to ask, do you want to, Dante? Uh, no, thank you, uh, whoever mentioned that, but please go ahead. Please, thank you so much. Okay. Please go you. ahead. Okay. Thank you. So I'm, I'm coming, Joan's got a hand up on here on page one. Joan Brady, I'm going to spotlight you. Okay. Didn't we just have a Joan? Yeah, different uh, Joan. Joan, <laughs> Joan number two. Long. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. Joan the second. Joan the second. Okay. We're, yeah, okay. So oh, just... Wow. Yeah. So, just, so just tell us, I am a something, and tell us about yourself. So I am a butterfly, a very exotic butterfly, beautiful markings, blue. Um, I live in a beautiful jungle, and um, that's also very exotic. It's very kind of green and lush, and there's very exotic birds live there. I haven't been there for very long. Um, I'm enjoying it, but it's kind of a little bit of a sense of a, something I something kind of shady or a bit of a cloud um, somewhere that I don't really want to know about as the butterfly. Um, you mean to say you're in this very beautiful place, but it feels like there's something wrong somewhere. Yeah. And you don't I'm really want to know because you're enjoying how nice yes, it is. Yes, yeah. Exactly it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, and okay. um, so that's it. Um, except that if I asked um, when I asked for a message, I I asked a toucan. You know, a toucan bird was very beautiful. Mm -hmm. The toucan said, "You need more protection." And um, but again, I didn't really want. If you need more protection and you need to find other kind of butterflies like yourself of your own kind, you need to find a tribe. Um, but I didn't really want to hear that either because I was enjoying my freedom. Um, so you felt you wouldn't be free if you found other butterflies. You want to be yeah. on your own. Yeah. And, and you know there's some danger here, but you don't want to think about that either. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then when I was light, um, when I when I asked light for something that I should know, it was uh, that that the butterfly didn't know, or no, sorry, the butterfly yeah, yeah. and me then, yeah, something. It was oh, like there's just so much fun like to be had in the world that you don't know what you're missing, kind of a thing. So that was it, really. I just thought it was really interesting. <laughs> Okay, so so you just want to share it? You didn't yeah. want any help with it? Um, I, well, I, I suppose I was a bit confused about um, kind of getting these very specific directions to find um, that you'd be better protected with a, with more, but not wanting to know. Not want. Oh, sorry, Anna. It was another message to you. Have to find a direct. You have to pick a direction. I got as well. And you didn't want to do that either. No. <laughs> okay. So let's just stop for a moment, Joan, and I just want to feel my way into this. You're, you're quite stubborn, aren't you? And I'm not talking to Joan, yes, I'm talking yes. to the butterfly. I mean, I'm kind of a bit will, willful and careful. Yeah, I'm talking to the butterfly. Yeah, yeah. Um, so the, yeah, I'm kind of just having fun. And before I was butterfly, I was kind of in not a, such a lovely place. So I don't really want to to give it up. But I yeah. am aware. Yeah. A little bit of a shadowy cloud. But uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But butterfly, do you know that um, compared to toucans and other things, you're quite small. Yes. And do you know that if there is something going on, you could be at risk? 
Yes, yes, yeah. Okay. So, um, tell me why you don't want to know. Um, because I don't want to pick a direction <laughs> and I don't want to. Uh huh. I don't okay. want to pick a direction and I don't, I kind of just want to be carefree. Okay. Yeah. But there's a danger around. Yes. So yeah. that's a little, that's a little bit tempting fate, isn't it, butterfly? Yes, it's a bit um, risky. Oh, I it's a bit <laughs> risky, yeah. And I can understand you just want to be free. You were in a sort of not very good place and now you're free and it's all wonderful. But something's telling you there's something wrong. So I want to ask you something. You don't want to pick a direction, but if you did, what would it be? Um, well, as, as the image. Yeah, as a butterfly. If, as a butterfly, if you did, I have an image of where I reached a place where there were other butterflies and I was much safer. Okay. Um, yeah. So. so if you did, you would go someplace where you were safer and there were other butterflies. Yeah. I yeah. want you to hear that. Yeah. Okay. Instead of being on my own in the jungle. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you got it. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what this means? Um, I, yeah, probably. Yeah. I, I think so. Yeah. yeah. I think you probably do. Yeah, I think I do. Yeah. 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 I think so. <laughs> do you want to tell us or would you rather? Yeah, well, no, I, I think probably I just need to be a bit more stable in my life really. And, and kind of, I'm, I've, I've been trying to live a more stable life and I'm getting very bored with it. Um, because I, I had led a quite chaotic life. Um, but yeah, so it was very nice to be the butterfly and back being, you know, going wherever I wanted to go and whatever. So, but I, yeah, I think I need to stay on the path I'm on, actually. You need to stay <laughs> in the path it's, you're it's on. It's been a bit of fun then. Yeah. yeah, okay, I got it. Okay, yeah. I, mean, I, I want to say, protect. you know, I would agree with what they all said to you, protect yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. That's really interesting, yeah. Yeah, thank, thank you, you Jen. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so um, I think we can now. Um, I'm unmuted myself. Dina, do you want to, as we come to the eight thirty? Yeah. We close. Do you want to share with people how they might find out more about your work if they want to? Sure. Um, well, um, the best thing is to go onto my website and to go to contact me and just contact me and. If you are interested, I'm sure some of you are practitioners of some kind or other. If you are interested in learning about imagery, I will be, you know, I'm trying to finish this book any day now, any week now, and um, which is a training book. And then I'm going to be running training courses. So if anybody's interested in that, then say, please put me on the list to be notified about training courses. Or you could look, or you could just put your, yourself on the contact list so that you know, um, that we'll let you know when things are happening. And um, um, I'm going to be, uh, I'm doing another online group in, in this month with online events. If you looked up Eventbrite, you'd find Eventbrite Dina Glauberman, you'd find the... Um, the um, thing and the thing that I'm doing is called the house of health and other houses so it'd be very interesting so if you want to come along it's by donation only so you know if it's expensive you know, it doesn't have to be expensive and then hopefully we're going to be in Skiros this summer but we don't you know we pray that Boris Johnson sees the light but with <laughs> So I'm, I'm hoping for that. But put yourself on the list and, um, and you'll find out what's, what's going on. And, and of course, these books are all available on, um, on um, Amazon. And the other thing that I have on my website is loads of audios 
for example, I have at least two audios that would take you through this experience. There's a load of other audios, so if you're interested in something else, you can find an audio that would suit you. And going along with this book, you are what you imagine, there's one um, big audio with 10 exercises, and you go through the book, and there's one exercise per chapter, and that will be on, on, the, um, on the audio. So you're taking yourself up from where you are to where you want to be, if that's what you want to be doing at this moment in your life, when we're all a bit confused. <laughs> okay. And does anybody have any questions to ask me? Dante has a question. He's unmuted. Yes, uh, thank you. Uh, which book is that, uh, please? This book um, with the 10 is You Are What You Imagine. It's called You Are Would What you... you Imagine. I have a question. You are, yeah. thank you very much. Uh, Debbie? Uh, yeah. yeah. I, I, uh, Dina, I'm assuming we can do this work ourselves with meditation. Uh, is that true or do we need others to help us to reflect? Ah, you. <laughs> that's a good question. Um, to do it yourself, it would be best if you played an audio or, or, or took one of the books and read the thing and read it into, you know, so it's better to uh, go along with it. Um, it's, it's something I'm always doing on my own. I spend my life asking myself which animal, plant, or object I am. So you can, <laughs> you can do it by yourself. But for example, when I am in a group, I always do the exercise because even though I have to do it really quickly, the energy of the group makes it more powerful. Working with somebody else makes it more powerful. That said, these exercises are designed for people to be able to help themselves. Right. So, so you could do it, do it either way. But yeah. if you can find someone who wants to work with you, I mean, there's a number of groups of, of people that are working together now who, who check in with each other and then they play one of my audios and they all do it together and then they share afterwards and that's a very powerful experience for them. So if you found two other people who wanted to do it with you, that's also yeah. great, you know. Yeah. Though I can see it's on a different level when we have a psychotherapist help analyze and ask the questions as you would Not, not like analyze, this. not analyze. Yeah. I don't analyze. Um, but guide, lead, uh, expose, yeah. whatever. To expose, no, I hope not. <laughs> Thank you. It's been an absolutely fantastic night. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. Thank really, you. really great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, okay. We'll, we'll give you a, a big thank you. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to see you all because right now I can only see myself. Okay, there you go. I'm <laughs> full view. Thank you so much. I think you've given people a lot of... What's thank it? you. It's lovely to work with you. Yeah, and uh, um, the resources sound great. Anybody got any? Uh, I'm going to stop the recording. Recording stop. Anybody got any uh, 